You deserve it Try to take a chance Say it's worth it You deserve to do your thing You deserve it I believe in you Cause if you deserve it Ain't nothing can stop your flight I Ain't nothing can stop your flight Your flight Walk right. Walk right. No, do you want this? Uh huh. Yes. Alright, this one. Can you do both? No, pick one because you already got one at home. Uh, Why this one? Why you get this one? Okay, this is. This was the one you want to want. I love. I love so much, but I don't even want that. So oh, these are four dollars. This one. Oh, you don't have this one. Oh. This is cute. <laughs> Okay, so what you doing? She working her workbook. I am doing this one. And as you see, I have two of them done. So, so while I'm doing that, I'm going, so, uh, so, when I get done, I'll show you okay, what I have done. Do mm -hmm. you do you watch your videos? Not all of them, but some of them. I can't find most of them. But do you watch them? The ones? Yes. Okay, so do you read the comments? Yes. Have you seen any negative comments? Yeah. You gotta come back this way. Because yeah. there's been a lot of negative comments on there. And... Well, well actually, I don't... From all my videos, I don't, I don't look at. How would you feel if somebody said that she was ugly? I would definitely. <laughs> no, I feel so mad that I would just. Would that hurt your feelings? Yes. Go back this way. Uh huh. It would hurt my feelings. So. What if I said that they were ugly and it hurt their feelings? Okay. What would you say if somebody said you think you all that because you got all those clothes? Well, I would say they're a hater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was at home now. Okay. Well, there's, there's a lot of, there's some negative comments. Um, what else did they say? Oh, they said that you, need, you don't need to be wearing heels. What do you say about that? Yeah, but this way I can't see you. Well, I say that. And we. I don't know what I say about that one. Do you care that they say you should be wearing weave and heels? Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is what you're doing. This is going to be a boring vlog. We don't really do nothing. This one today. Okay, I'm going to be doing both of them. No, you already did that one. You got to do some um, English. So I'm going to go. We're going to go ahead. So um, I'm going to find her an English page to work out of. If y'all don't have these books right here for your kids, these are some really good books. She works in the second grade one because that's what grade she's in. 
And eh. then because she's too smart for most of the stuff in here, she works in the third gray one as well. I can't. I probably can do this. She did this last year. You, as you can tell by the writing. She write better now. Let's see. She's working at book in first grade as well. No, uh -uh. yes, she was. Oh, she was I, in first grade last year. Yeah, and, and I, I got that book last year. Oh yeah. How about this one? Hang on. What's this one? It says. Problem now. Here, read this to me. Okay. Proper nouns are are nouns that read letter. Proper nouns are nouns that name a certain person, place, or thing. They always start with a capital letter. There, there are some paper prop proper nouns. Bobby, Miss Jones, New York City, Friday, May, Main Street. These are all of the proper nouns. Okay, now read directions. Underline the proper nouns in the sentence. Write them correctly on the line. My best friend will visit on Saturday. My. Uh, I think that one's wrong. This one? Person, place, or thing. March is a month. Tongue. Tongue. Birthday is a thing. But I think birthday is. Um, birthday is. March. Oh, you're right, because March is supposed to be capital. They don't have it capitalized. Mm -hmm. It's, it's lead in there, you just keep breaking it. Ignore what she had said, because she was trying to show me something. Is simple or compact? I'm going to have to start that. Underline the subject in each sentence. Circle S or C to show whether the subject is simple or compact. So what is the subject? A subject names, names one thing in... A compound names more than one thing. Okay. So what did it tell you to do? Circle, circle, S or C for sim if it's simple or com com a compound subject. And this is my food. I have two bacon cheeseburgers. Just um, one burger, just cut in half. I have one bacon cheeseburger. It's just cut in half. Tater tots, ketchup, and and water. And, drinking water. And some water. So, as you see, you can see everything from in there. Okay, catch your burger. It's cold in here too. Somebody got that dough open. <laughs> Is it good? Or is it good? <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> is it good? Or is it good? I'm not much of a vlogger, so I'm not really sure how you're supposed to do it with these videos. I just want to get a video up for y'all. Let me tell you so so she's gonna eat, and then we'll be back after that. I'm not sure what it's. I'm not sure what time it is. I don't know if she's gonna be going to bed yet or not. Now I'm gonna taste my tater tots. I don't think they want to watch you eat your food. I just said on my grill, y'all.